All right, guys, so we got to talk about another UFO shot down over the United States. Uh, this time it's over Lake Huron. I, I believe that's northern Michigan. That's between Michigan and, and Canada, I, I believe. Um, yeah, a, a unidentified flying object, a literal UFO. We don't know the nature of it, whether it is terrestrial or extraterrestrial or whatever, right? We don't really know. We don't know where it comes from. Uh, it was shot down. Uh, now, again, th this comes as, you know, we've seen a lot of objects in our airspace that aren't supposed to be there, particularly from China, right? Chinese air balloons uh, has been in U.S. airspace. Allegedly, they've been in Canadian airspace. They've been in other uh, countries in their airspace. Um, and, you know, we shot down a couple objects, uh, one that was over Canada and one that was over Alaska the past few days. And now we have another one. Okay, um, so things are getting kind of crazy. Uh, there's a whole lot of escalation going on here in regards to what might be flying around in our skies. And um, who knows? It may not just be China, right? I think the best case scenario is that it's just China messing with us, okay? Uh, but if it ain't China, okay, then we got to look at Russia. And if it ain't China, if it ain't Russia, then I think we got to start asking some serious questions about legitimately what the hell is going on i mean there are some very strange reports about the uh object that was shot down o over alaska in the sense that there was no visible means of uh propulsion right uh pilots uh were given reports saying that they don't know how the thing was propelling itself or how it was staying forty thousand feet above the ground now you know chuck schumer and, and others have come out and said that it was a balloon right a air balloon or whatever or a spy balloon but we really don't know right uh they, they are recovering the, the the wreckage and the material from those you know aerial crafts or objects whatever you want to call them uh but again this is quite fascinating again this comes as the u.s government has been slightly more transparent about ufos and disclosure i mean they, they officially call them uh uaps okay uh i think it says unidentified uh, aerial phenomenon or something like that but this is kind of crazy and uh fascinating at the same time there's definitely something going on here or maybe it's a distraction from something else who knows um but that being said let, let's actually play this clip and I, yes i know it's from cnn i know i get it but it, it gives a pretty straightforward explanation of kind of what's going on here with this uh latest ufo incident uh take a look all right, this breaking news just into CNN. U.S. officials now saying the military just shot down yet another high-altitude object, this time over Lake Huron. Let's bring in CNN's Kylie Atwood at the State Department. Arlette si signs at the White House. Uh, Kylie, um, you first. What do we know? Yeah, so this would be the third uh, high altitude unidentifiable object that's been shot down over the course of the last few days here. This one shot down just this afternoon, according to a Pentagon official and a congressional source briefed on the matter over Lake Huron. Of course, that is uh, in between northern Michigan and Canada. And this comes just after uh, we'd been talking about in recent hours, the FAA had put a temporary flight restriction into place uh, around the area of Michigan uh, due to what they said were NORAD operations. They didn't identify those operations at the time. It now appears it's because they were headed uh, to shoot down this object. We really don't know much about this operation right now. We don't even know uh, exactly what kind of fighter jets carried out this operation, but it's significant because we have seen just this incredibly heightened sense of vigilance around U.S. airspace over the course of the last uh, eight days or so, and it was prompted, of of course, by that Chinese spy balloon that was taken down off the coast of South Carolina on Saturday. Uh, we heard from Congresswoman Slotkin of Michigan saying that she had been in touch with the Department of Defense that is keeping an extremely close eye on the object above Lake Huron. And then we also heard in a tweet from another member of Congress from Michigan, uh, Congressman Jack Bergman, saying that he has been in contact with DOD regarding these operations the military has, in his words, quote, decommissioned another object over Lake Huron. And he said he appreciates their decisive action by fighter pilots. So we're looking to learn a lot more from this. We expect to hear mm -hmm. uh, from the Pentagon or from the White House today. As I said, this is the third 
object that has been taken down since Friday over U.S. airspace or Canadian airspace. Fred? All right, uh, Kylie Atwood, thanks so much. Arlette signs at the White House. What's the message? Well, so far, we are still waiting to hear from the White House specifically on this news that a third object uh, over the course of the past three days was downed over Lake Huron. Of course, I, I have asked the White House whether the president was briefed on this matter and whether he authorized this takedown of this object. Now, uh, over the past two days, as those other unidentified objects were taken down off the coast of Alaska and also in Canada, President Biden was involved in the authorization of that. But certainly so many questions as there is really a nation on edge as there have been these repeated unidentified objects that the U.S. has taken down. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much, ladies. Arlette Signs, Kylie Atwood, appreciate it. Yeah, so that's not the only incident that is happening here that, again, is making me scratch my head about what is going on in our skies. Um, we have Uruguay uh, investigating flashing lights. You have China allegedly uh, preparing to shoot down a UFO that is flying in their airspace. Again, could that be our, you know, aircraft? Could we be doing it back to them? Who knows, <laughs> right? Uh, but there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. So let, let, let's read about it. Uh, the U.S. military has decommissioned another object over Lake Huron. Lawmakers say the American people deserve far more answers than we have. Uh, when has the government ever gave us answers on this type of stuff, <laughs> right? I don't think they will anytime soon, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, we'll see. The United States military shot down an unidentified flying object over Lake Heron Sunday afternoon, just over a day after an Air Force uh, fighter shot down an object over Alaska on Friday evening, and about a week after a Chinese balloon was shot down after transversing across U.S. airspace. Meanwhile, the Uruguayan Air Force said that it was investigating lights in the sky in the northwestern part of the country, and Chinese state media reported that there was an unidentified flying object in waters near the coastal city of uh, Rizhao in the province and were preparing to shoot it down. Again, this is funny to me because this is not the first time we've heard about UFOs in the sky. Now, again, depending on where they come from, we don't really know, but usually they don't mess with them, right? They don't mess with them like this. They're not just shooting them down. They just monitor them and that's it, okay? Especially when they exhibit uh, behaviors that uh, apparently are not of this world, okay? Uh, I'm just telling you what is allegedly, you know, being said about how these objects move and propel themselves. While no single part of this is that unusual, the flurry of military actions and sighting in a single weekend has lit social media aflame. The military has not said what the two objects shot down this weekend are, but the actions follow uh, the much-hyped downing of a Chinese spy balloon last week. UFO mania, it seems, is here. The U.S. military, it should be noted, has been using the threat of U.S. UFOs to ask for more funding for years. Yeah, so... Maybe it could be a PSYOP, right? It's a PSYOP for the U.S. military to get more funding, right? Oh, it's an alien invasion, right? We need more money, okay? Give us trillions more. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I guess you could say the first PSYOP was uh, uh, Ukraine, right? Now you got this, okay? Amazing. Uh, Michigan uh, Congressman uh, Jack Bergman uh, tweeted Sunday that the U.S. military has decommissioned another object over Lake Heron. The American people deserve far more answers than we have. Earlier Sunday, the Federal Aviation Administration put up a temporary notice to uh, air missions uh, closing the airspace above Lake Michigan, NAV Canada, a nonprofit group that operates Canada's civil uh, airspace and air traffic control, put up a similar notice over a portion of uh, Ontario near Lake Haran due to an act of air defense. Uh, several uh, lawmakers said they were seeking more information about the object. Quote, I've been in touch with the Pentagon, DHS, and FAA regarding the closure of airspace over the Great Lakes. I'm glad the object was neutralized over Lake Huron, and I'll, uh, and I'll continue pressing uh, DOD for transparency. Uh, Michigan Senator uh, Gary Peters tweeted. Early in the day, uh, amateur flight watchers uh, tracked a U.S. Uh, Air Force Boeing e uh, 3B Sentry flying over uh, Lake Michigan, which is perhaps coincidentally the same craft that was blown out of the sky by the mothership in the movie Independence Day. Friday night, the Department of Defense announced that Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and U.S. President Joe Biden spoke on the phone and agreed to work with Canada to take down a high altitude airborne object over northern Canada. Quote, two F-22 aircraft from Joint Base 
uh, Emmendorf, Richardson, Alaska, monitored the uh, object over U.S. airspace with the assistance of Alaska Air National Guard refueling aircraft, tracking it closely and taking time to characterize the nature of the object. The statement continued. Quote, monitoring continued today as the object crossed into Canadian airspace with Canadian uh, CF-18 and CP-140 aircraft joining the formation to further assess the object. A U.S. F-22 shot down the object in Canadian territory using an AIM-9X missile following close coordination between U.S. and Canadian authorities. In a tweet, Trudeau said he ordered the takedown. Canadian forces will now recover and analyze the wreckage of the object. Uh, Trudeau added, thank you to NORAD for keeping the watch over uh, North America. Officials have not released any more information about either of the two UFOs they shot down this weekend. Last week, an Air Force fighter destroyed a Chinese balloon off the coast of South Carolina that was initially spotted above Montana and floated across the United States government. We, meanwhile, the Uruguayan Air Force said Friday it is investigating, quote, flashing lights in the sky above Termas de uh, Amron in the western part of the country and said it would it has deployed a part of the government responsible for investigating UFOs to gather information and interview witnesses. Chinese state media put out a warning Sunday stating, quote, local marine time authorities in East China's uh, Shangdan province announced on Sunday that they had spotted an unidentified flying object in waters near the coastal city of Ritshu in the province and were preparing to shoot it down. Reminding fishermen to be safe, <laughs> they added, the U.S. Department did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Yeah, so what I think about this? Well, what I think is that um, if it's not terrestrial, right, if it's not from here, uh, if it's in fact aliens, then I welcome them because our leaders, <laughs> right, are silly, okay? Uh, and we should not take them to our leaders because they, they probably leave immediately, okay? Uh, I, I welcome them to uh, come and, and tell us what a woman is, <laughs> right? Tell us what a woman is, okay? Tell us if... You know, children should be, you know, transition themselves at a young age. Uh, I would love to know their thoughts on our current society and the direction that we're going in, right? Is this the right direction? Okay, I would love to know uh, the aliens' takes on systemic racism, right, and social justice and white supremacy in America. Okay, I would love to know it. Okay, so if it's in fact them, uh, I walk in there with open arms, right? I, I, I would like for them to be peaceful, Um and I mean, that that's just it, right? That's just it. But I'm just saying, I mean, look, if they really wanted to come into the country unidentified, all they have to do is just go to the southern border, right? Just go to the southern border and just come in through there, right? You can totally come into the U.S. unidentified through there. So again, I think, you know, they're kind of uh, wasting a whole lot of energy here and potentially putting themselves in danger uh, trying to, you know, cross into U.S. airspace to, I don't know, do whatever they're doing, right? But if it is from Earth, okay, if it is terrestrial, then uh, we could be seeing some type of kind of mini Cold War here, right, in regards to, you know, spying and, you know, competing major com um, countries kind of, you know, trying to see what they can get away with in regards to flying, you know, <laughs> mysterious objects into, you know, other countries' airspaces. Who knows? We, we really don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see if we get any more information my gut feeling is that we'll probably never hear the truth about this, especially if it's not from here, right? Uh, we'll never hear the truth about it. Uh, even if it is from here, we'll probably still never hear the truth about it. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.